Welcome back to the channel everyone and thanks for joining me for this latest episode which I am happy to say is going to provide a little bit more information about the upcoming Galaxy Watch 2. There's been a number of rumors circulating now about the watch so I wanted to go over what those are and provide my input into when you can expect to see this new smartwatch released and at what price. Okay, starting off, about a week ago, I first reported in my top upgrades video of the Galaxy Watch, the model number of the new release, but that's now been updated to include a total of four new models, which will most likely take care of the different sizes that are gonna be available, as well as the connectivity options, that being either in a Bluetooth or LTE variant. What this also means though, is that we can expect to see two different sizes. Now the current Galaxy Watch is available in a 42 and a 46 millimeter case, but the Active 2 series is available in a 40 and a 44 millimeter. So it's gonna be interesting to see if Samsung sticks with the current sizes for the Galaxy Watch, or perhaps offers something like the Active 2 in the 44 millimeter size. It's too early to say what the exact sizes will be, but I do have the 44 millimeter version and I find it to be a nice happy medium between the larger 46 millimeter and the smaller 42 but we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer to see what Samsung goes with for that new watch. The other piece of information which was released and I am super happy about this one as I listed it as my top must-have upgrade and that is in terms of the internal storage capacity. Reports are that the Galaxy 2 is going to come with a much needed update which is going to up the storage to 8 gigabytes. And keep in mind that all Samsung smartwatches, starting with the original Galaxy Gear back in 2013, only had four gigabytes of storage. So this upgrade is well overdue in my opinion. Now, before you get too excited and to keep things in perspective here, Samsung's biggest rival, that being the Apple Watch, now has 32 gigabytes of storage for the Watch Series 5. So that's an incredible four times larger than what Samsung's newest release will have. So yes, I'm really happy to see that our storage capacity will be doubling, but I still think Samsung has a lot of work to do here if it wants to compete with the Apple Watch in terms of storage, because users that want the ability to store more music and apps instead of solely relying on streaming services are going to look for powerhouse watches like Apple. Anyways, it's definitely a good step forward for Samsung. I just hope we don't have to wait another seven years for the next storage upgrade. Now, the last bit of information that's been circling is in regards to its battery size. Apparently, the Galaxy Watch 2 is going to come with a slightly large battery than what's available in the 40 millimeter Active 2 watch. Now, this could mean a couple things. Perhaps Samsung found some efficiencies in their production process and are able to fit a larger size battery in a 40 millimeter case. Perhaps they may stay with the status quo for sizes available in the Galaxy series, and this battery will actually be equipped in the 42 millimeter version. Or the other possibility is that this battery will be in a 44 millimeter offering because of this 330 battery size is almost identical to the one that's in the current Active 2 44 millimeter watch. Now we're gonna just have to wait and see which case size this is actually gonna go in, but if it's going in one of the smaller sized 40 or 42 millimeter cases, then it will be an improvement in the power you get out of the current smartwatches in the same smaller sizes. And given that we really haven't heard much about this new smartwatch, I don't expect that we're gonna see an unveiling of it at the upcoming Samsung Unpacked event either. So it may stay with Samsung's traditional watch releases. I think we're gonna see this watch officially unveiled sometime in early September. And I also expect the price to be similar to what the Galaxy Watch was when it was released, which was about 349 US. Anyways, I will keep you guys posted as I have a feeling we're going to get a lot more information and leaks about the device as we head into spring. And let me know in the comments below if you think the increase in storage capacity is enough of an incentive for you to get the watch or if you're gonna need to see something more substantial to sway you. Thanks again for watching, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review, and if you liked it, then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends, because with your support, it really helps me keep the channel going, so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and of course, fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.